This video demonstrates how to set up and perform an ultrasound scan for fetal anomaly. Equipment required includes the following, an ultrasound machine, a selection of transducers, an adjustable examination table, positioning aids such as pillows or wedges, an ergonomically adjustable chair and a chair for the companion of the patient, acoustic gel, examination gloves, tissues, a wet towel or wipes, bed linen, and a sonographer's worksheet. Select the appropriate transducer. Select the standard preset for the type of obstetric examination. Introduce yourself, explain the procedure, and obtain informed verbal consent. Ask the patient if she would like someone with her during the scan. Check the patient's details and medical and obstetric history. Confirm that she has a full bladder. Ask the patient to lie on the examination table and make her comfortable. Enter the patient details and last normal menstrual period or estimated date of delivery into the ultrasound machine. Sit or stand next to the patient's right side with the ultrasound machine to the left upper end of the examination table or the opposite side if you are left-handed. Expose the lower abdomen and apply gel. Confirm the correct transducer preset. Place the transducer on the lower abdomen. Perform a survey scan of the pelvis and fetus starting in the longitudinal plane. The targeted fetal anomaly scan is usually a follow-up scan for a previously identified anomaly or when a high risk of fetal abnormality has been identified from screening or maternal history. It is assumed that a sonographer performing a targeted fetal anomaly scan knows how to perform a second trimester anatomy scan. This video will show some of the more detailed steps that may also be required. Perform an anatomy scan of the fetal head and neck, noting any abnormal skull shape. The nuchal fold can be seen in the suboccipitobregmatic view of the skull. It is measured as the distance between the outer occiput and the outer skin line at the level of the posterior fossa. This is not the same as nuchal translucency. Obtain the nuchal fold measurement by placing the first caliper on the outer...